Okay, so um, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for joining us today. Um, we are going to wait one or two minutes for the students to join and we will start our webinar. Okay, let's start. Um, hello, everybody. Welcome to our webinar. We are glad that you are here to find out what it's like um, to live in Nevada at Tricky Meadows Community College. My name is Karen Botero, and I will be hosting this webinar on representing Viva Mundo. So before we get started, I would like to tell you a little bit about Viva Mundo. Um, on our website, you can find uh, information about uh, studying abroad. So we tell you all you need to start the process of studying abroad, and we invite you to read all, all, all our articles and find out information about different programs, degrees, um, language courses, destinations, visa application, um, application details to a program and so on. So today we are joined by two students, um, two international students uh, from Truki Meadows Community College and I would like to introduce uh, Alejandra and Valeria, two international students of this community college that will be talking about what life is like um, in Nevada and in this prestigious college in the US. So if you have any questions, we invite you to drop all of them in the Q&A box uh, here at the bottom of the screen and we will go back to them at the end of the presentation. We will um, be answering them. Um, so if you have any questions or if you would like to know anything in a specific about this community college or about their experience, we invite you to leave all your questions and comments there. So now I would like to give the floor to our panelists today, Valeria and Alejandra. Hi everyone. Um, well, today we're gonna present about our international student life at Truckee Meadows Community College. Hello everyone, my name is Valeria Saborio and I am from Costa Rica and along with Ale we'll be sharing our experience as students at Chalky Meadows Community College, like she said. Um, TMCC is a very well-known college. It's a two-year community college in the area of Reno um, in Nevada. And we are emphasized in more than 80 associates degrees focused in arts and science and the highest demand careers. Like I said, it's located in Reno, the biggest little city in the world. And we have a student population of around 13,000 students. TMCC is very well known for having smaller classes in size and it brings more specialized experience for each student along with their professors and classmates. And it has gorgeous campus locations and many resources for students within our community. So we're very excited to share a little bit more in depth of our experience as international students and what we love the most about our community college. Okay, uh, well, now I'm gonna introduce myself. Hello, everybody. My name is Alejandra Salas. I am from Lima, Peru, born and raised, obviously. And I'm currently an international student here at TMCC studying architecture. Uh, 
to to get my associate's degree in science here so then I can transfer and earn my bachelor's in architecture as well. And I'm also an international peer mentor at MCC. Um, my name is Valeria. I am from Costa Rica, born and raised as well. And um, last two years ago to um, study mechanical engineering. Um, I finished my associates of science and engineering at TMCC and I'll be transferring to finish my bachelor's um, in mechanical engineering. And when I was at TMCC, I was also an international peer mentor for our students. And I was also the student government association vice president. Um, so yeah, that's a little bit about my background. So now we wanna share with you, how is it that we found TMCC out of the many colleges and universities in the US? Why is it that we picked Tracking Meadows Community College as our um, first two years of college degree in the US. Um, so Ale, I wanna ask you, how did you find TMCC and why did you like it so much? Okay, well, this is a little pic of myself. So you can see I'm a traveler soul. So I remember when I turned 18, I decided to take this um, cultural exchange program called Work and Travel. And the last time, uh, I land in Lake Tahoe and I fell in love with the place and the nature around it. So I was currently studying architecture at my home country. And once I was here, I decided to transfer and I would start looking around the area, right? Where I can like transfer my architect architecture studies. And I found that TMCC was the only college that actually provide architecture studies around Reno Tahoe area so that was pretty amazing to me that I can do that and also that they even though they provide two year a two year program for architecture and construction you have such a great uh, transfer agreements with TMCC that you can transfer whenever in the U.S. as an international student and that gave me a lot of options for me to get my bachelor's degree in architecture and I really like that and I can see how TMCC has helped me so far eh, to get involved in the Reno community, in the architect community here in Reno as well, and to like expand my professional network, if I can say, because TMCC is such a, emphasize their studies in architecture in such a way that you don't get lost, you get a lot of help that I can say that that's, that's what I like about a lot about TMCC. And well, I wanna ask, you all well, the same question how did you find team uh, how did you find tmcc well for me since i was very young uh, my goal was to study in the us and become an engineer and so uh, back home in my senior year of high school i started looking for scholarships and ways to come to the us um, to study and i discovered what community colleges were and how um, it's such a great transition for international students to study at a community college because you have um, smaller classes, you can have a more specialized experience with your professors, um, and then you can transfer to a four year university. It's also way cheaper. And I just, I really like the idea of coming to the US. So I applied to this scholarship. Um, it took about three months to go through interviews and processes and apply and um, and finally, I was able to win the scholarship along with other five Costa Ricans. Um, and so I picked TMCC and um, I did my first two years of engineering and general courses there. And I can say that what I love the most about my experience as an international student was first of all, living in such a beautiful city. Reno has so much to offer and we're gonna share about um, Reno more in detail later on in the presentation. Um, but yeah, I loved, I just love living in Reno. I loved making friends from all over the world. I wanted my experience to be as, um, I don't know, as like fruitful as possible. So I actually lived in a house with other students from other countries. So the picture that you can see at the bottom is um, a picture with my housemates at a family dinner that we called. And so I had housemates from Kenya, Spain, Brazil, Korea, uh, Cameroon, and Japan, and myself from Costa Rica. And that experience was just so much fun to be able to be surrounded with so many cultures and just get out of my comfort zone. 
And also I was able to travel um, thanks to my job and just being a student in the US, it's, um, you were, we're just so close to many other areas and we know that you might like. And so I just really like that experience as well. And yeah, just studying engineering and having um, great professors also made it such a good experience. So I, I'm just really thankful that I was able to come to TMCC and I think I made the right choice for sure. Yeah. So moving on, we want to share a little bit with you guys about, Ale, let me see if you can, yeah. Okay, so we want to share how is it that we transitioned from our home country's lifestyle to the American system of higher education. And maybe you can relate or you can start thinking about what life would be like for you guys if you decide to study in the US. So for me, the biggest factor and the biggest um, difference from Costa Rica and the US was how accelerated and busy life is in the US. And I wanna say it in like a good way. I, I'm a very like active person, but I was very overwhelmed with how fast paced life and classes and work and just everything is in general. So it did take me a couple of months to get used to it and get organized and just like get a, ahead of the rhythm of the rhythm. But I do have to say that it's so like enriching to, to be able to see your progress much faster when it comes to classes. And um, maybe for you guys, if you wanna go to the US because you wanna practice your English and improve your English skills, then you'll see a fruitful um, solution there as well. And so I just, I really liked how I was forced to like demand more of myself and it took a while, but like my last engineering courses, I was able to get good grades and um, ace all of my exams a hundred percent. And I just realized like how much you have to put into it. And luckily at TMCC, we have so many resources available for our students that we're gonna share with you as well. And we just wanna make sure that you have a great experience. And especially for international students, cause we come from other countries where we're changing our entire lives to be here. And so our team wants to make sure that you have a great experience. Um, Ale, I know for you, it's a little different cause you live in, yeah. I think the best place in the world, Tahoe. So what was it like for you to transition from Peru to Tahoe? So, well, I come from the city, right? Which is Lima, it's such a busy city and you can walk from whenever you want. You can also take uh, the train and stuff like that. But here in Tahoe, it's so different because you get to enjoy the nature so much. And like you get, you raise awareness on like cons conserve or nature and our environment. So for me, it was a big thing because I want to emphasize my studies in sustainable design. And that's why living here in Tahoe, which I'm surrounded so much nature around, it makes me feel motivated and influenced me a lot in my way of thinking and my design as well. Uh, I can say that lifestyle, um, well, the transition was like, in my city was so busy and here it's so calm down and you get to enjoy the outdoors, but, but um, I have to try. I have to drive 45 minutes to get to TMCC, which is such a great contrast in between the city and the mountains because I'm still a city girl, but and I get to enjoy both, right? Like 45 minutes driving, and I am in a different environment. It's such a great. It's I mean to me, it's so great to get to enjoy both. Uh, regarding the education here as well, I can say that I challenged myself. Once I started TNCC, I was obviously a little nervous. Um, my way of, of talking, if somebody somebody understands me of, of, or no, and I felt really welcome at TMCC by my by the staff, by the faculty staff and my teachers as well. They, they were aware that I was an international student and therefore they give me a little bit of a little bit a little more time to I don't know turn in my assignments and stuff like that but I've never felt afraid to participate in class let's say I always felt welcome and the good thing about TMCC is that the classes are specialized and in my class there were like at most 30 people so I get to create a bond with my teacher and have a better relationship with them and that also helps you to like uh, raise your professional network because your teacher can be 
can help you with your internships and that. So having that relation, that close relationship with them, to me, is such a great advantage that TNCC provides. Uh, because let's say at my home country, when I was studying architecture, the classes were bigger and you don't actually get that close connection with your teachers. And here I experienced that. And also um, to get out of your comfort zone, I will say, because uh, even though English, it can be like a language barrier for me, helped me um, a lot to uh, improve my, my language. And now I can say I'm bilingual, bilingual, right? I can speak both language and I feel comfortable with. And I do really uh, believe that studying here, like improve my vocabulary as well so much. And I'm able to talk like for hours long and feel and I feel comfortable with it. And that's what I like the most of my transition from my home country to an American system of higher education, I will say. TNCC has helped you a lot to break that, those barriers and like to feel more comfortable living here in the US because their staff, they're so welcoming too. And they like always motivate you to keep going, you know, never give up, just look forward. That's what I like the most. And well, now, we're gonna, well, now that we say like how was our transition and how like we've been like getting at TMCC, we're gonna talk about the resources at TMCC that help us through our student journey. Uh, well, now I wanna talk about a little bit of the tutoring and learning center and the career center, because these are the things that help you the most when you're a student, right? Uh, well, the tutoring and learning center is, well, ex this exists to support the institution in its mission is to improve the quality of life of its students, well, TMCC students, right? Uh, in its effort, the tutoring and learning center staff, it, in, in, it's an inviting environment uh, with well-trained tutors to help students become independent learners from academic success. Uh, for my own personal experience, I use the tutoring and learning center a lot in my first semester, especially taking uh, my class, which was composition um, 113 and 114 for international students. I had this such a great uh, instructor that was always encourage, encouraging us to give the most. And I felt so motivated um, through hair that I was always going to tutoring center because I wanted I wanted to give good essays, right? And even we have like good students, like I know that they were working at a tutoring and learning center. And it's such a it's such a great tool that TNCC provides for you to achieve your goals and even like to overcome those academic barriers that you might have. Uh, we also have the Career Center, which provide guidance to students regarding internships, optional practice training, which is OPT uh, for international students, and career development opportunities as well. The Career Center is so important for you. For example, let's say you don't know nobody around Reno. You, you have to go and you're studying at NCC. You go to the Career Center and you're going to see a lot of options that you might have in order for you to advance in, if you, uh, in your career, if you wanna have like internships, if you wanna just practice in the in your field, uh, it's so it's so good uh, and it's pretty helpful. It's, it, it comes pretty handy when you just wanna move forward and just do more advancing your skill and, and develop your skills as well. They have such a great staff too, and they, they provide uh, all the information you might need in order to do that. And now Bali yeah. tell us a little bit more of our other resources at TMCC. So we recently just built our brand new fitness center, which offers a lot of like in-person classes. We have Zumba, yoga, I think personal defense is one coming up. And then we also have a huge weight room where students can just come and work out by themselves. But it's such a cool gym. We also have a new basketball court, volleyball court. Um, and then we also have a soccer team and we have an outdoor soccer field. So the fitness center is definitely one of the students' favorites. And it is included in our tuition. So you don't have to pay to go to the gym. It's already included in your tuition, which is very nice because other colleges, you have to pay an extra fee or... Um, just pay to go and fitness center is 
included in your tuition for our students. So that's awesome. And then we have the counseling center. Um, the counseling center just basically gives support to students, um, whether it's with uh, a, a session to assess you with where you want to, with what your career is going to be, or if you need some psychological help. All of our counseling sessions are confidential, and they also offer a lot of webinars and workshops to help students with like for example, test taking strategies, now that we're online, it might be a little bit more difficult, how to deal with anxiety, how to um, adjust better. Um, as international students, we have access to the counseling center and I know they're really happy to serve us because being an international student can also be a little um, scary if you're in a new country, you might be experiencing adaptation to all of the new things that you're experiencing. So the Counseling Center is a great tool and we definitely recommend our students to attend um, the Counseling Center if they need. Like I said, everything is confidential and every single counselor is so nice and welcoming. Um, and you don't need to be going through something to need counseling. Um, you just maybe want to hear someone's perspective on a life decision that you're making or you want to improve some social skills and they're they're there, they're going to be there to help you as well. So these are just four of the many resources we have at TMCC. Um, just to mention a few, we have um, the Disability and Resource Center, we have the Welcome Center, we have um, a huge and beautiful library that um, has a scenic view of the mountains around TMCC, and it's such a relaxing place where you can go. That's where the tutoring center is located. And so what I would do is I would go to classes and then I would uh, just schedule a quick tutoring session. I would be there with a tutor for an hour practicing some engineering problems. And then I would just go to the library and continue studying and grab a coffee, um, just enjoy my time, meet some friends. And that's what kind of student life is in TMCC. And we just like that we have so many resources on campus that you can um, make the most out of. So moving on, we want to introduce um, our international student services team. We have amazing people that are gonna ensure that your experience as an international student is the best as possible. So first we have our executive director, Dr. Natalie Brown. Natalie has um, a lot of experience with international students. She speaks Spanish. She has traveled to so many countries recruiting and getting to know students from other countries that are coming into TMCC. Natalie came to Costa Rica when I decided to go to TMCC um, to my scholarship recipient ceremony. And it was just so nice to see someone from my future college come like being in my country and welcoming me. And she was really nice. And so Natalie is a director, but she's very accessible as well. Then we have Amanda who is actually here in our uh, webinar today. Um, and Amanda is such a great uh, support to our team. She's the program manager and Amanda just takes charge of all of the activities and things that we do to recruit more students to TMCC. She is a great asset. Amanda speaks German and she also lived abroad and she studied abroad. So she understands students, um, especially international students and their experience. And so Amanda has given me so much advice about where to transfer, what to do, um, and uh, she, she's in the office a lot, um, or a lot during, the, during the, the school year. Then we have Gracia and Sioni. Gracia is from Mexico, Sioni is from Tonga, and um, they're both international academic advisors. They are the ones that are gonna help you and make sure that you're taking the right classes, that you're gonna transfer, that you're gonna graduate on time. Um, they're the ones that are gonna recommend which classes are best for you. Um, what you need to take, uh, just go over your academic schedule. They're gonna be on top of your grades. So we wanna make sure that our international students are succeeding and having good grades. So they're the ones um, processing that with you and they're both amazing. And then we have Virag. Virag is from Hungary and she's our international student advisor. She is the one that takes care of the visa process, um, making sure that you get, you know, helping you with your international student visa appointments, making sure that you're keeping your legal status here in the US as an F1 student. She's the one that's gonna explain all of the 
important um, details of what having an F1 visa is and making sure that you follow the guidelines along the USCIS um, international student regulations. And she's also just like the title says, she's an advisor. So I would go to Virag if I needed help with um, where to transfer, like if I needed talk to she's great at that and then we're also going to talk about our international peer mentor program and that's where and that's where we're going to talk about our jobs so mm -hmm. um move yeah on. oh when and I, Ale, you can i yeah, wanted to I, ask you oh okay Ale, i wanted to ask you like for you because you came in later than i did as an international student what was it like to meet the Work. team and what did you like the most about them yeah, well, you know, I didn't get the chance to work with them in campus since all the current situation happened, but I was able to work with them through Zoom and I met them and it was super amazing. Uh, my personal experience working with the International Student Services team was uh, super um, pretty enriched to me, like to my knowledge. Uh, get, to know, get to know them better has taught me teamwork, uh, resilience as well to be like to enhance my skill communication since I go from meeting to meeting. And as an international student, I can say that they provide all the support to you as an international student to succeed academically. I will say I work uh, is personal with Virag. And even though I work with her and we care about inter the international student uh, status here in the US, uh, she also provide me advice and she always like is worried about my academic situation, like in regard to be successful and like, where am I gonna transfer? She, so for me, the international student services team provides you, uh, make sure that you succeed and you, that you're not alone and that you feel comfortable studying here in the USA. That's what I will say. And that's my personal experience working with them as well. Um, they're so friendly and like, I don't know, it, like, Motiv they motivate you so much that I feel comfortable working with them. That's what I can say with the, team, the international student services team. Um, also, as international students, we have this little space for us at campus. Well, it's not little, but it's like our particular space where most of our international students hang, which is DISCO. Uh, and it's the diversity and international student centers office. I personally like spend most of my time there, like just knowing other international students and that used to be our space to gather and just be us, right? Like as a little community yes. in TNCC. What can you say about Disco Bar? So Disco is a really like nice office because we have study spaces, we have computers, you can print your homework there. And then that's where most of our international student team uh, services offices are. So you can find Amanda at the Disco, you can find Natalie, Virag, um, and peer mentors. So we would have students come in all the time and they would either have an appointment with us or then they would meet their friends and hang out. We have a lot of activities at the disco. We're gonna talk about that in the next slide. Um, and yeah, like Ale said, it's just a space where students come in and they can connect and make friends. Um, I've never seen someone come into disco and leave like without making a friend. Even if you're shy, people are gonna come and talk to you. So I'm really glad that we have this space for students to feel yeah. integrated and make sure that they're receiving the help that they need as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. when my I first... favorite event that we do at Disco, oh, sorry, continue on. No, yeah. <laughs> no, I will just say the same that uh, I really enjoy Disco because when I first, when the first day at NCC, I was, kind of like lost, right? Where am I going? And then I went straight to Disco and I found you and you were like, okay, you you gave me all the information that I need and you even gave me a tour, remember? Like the whole campus. And <laughs> Disco is pretty handy yeah. for like new international students when you just want, when you just need help or like company, you know, you just feel welcome there. And yeah, yeah we also, yeah, keep, keep going back. <laughs> So and now, Ale, what is the best event that we have you can share about? Oh, okay. The best event that we have, uh, and it was also, it used to happen at Disco. It was International Coffee Hour that is part of the 
it's it's like an international it's like a cultural exchange event that the international uh, team hosts and it's called International Coffee Hour, right? It's um, where it's like one hour where you can share, where you can know more about others' culture, right? In between TNCC, as you know, we are super diverse and we are from all over the world. So we want to know a little bit more of them. And every time we get a chance, we show them, we show students like a little bit of all culture. Personally, I I participate in Coffee Hour and I present about my home country, Lima, Peru, to others. And there were like 20 people uh, in Zoom. And I was, I felt so glad that I was able to share a little bit of me and my home country to them. And as well, I, I've known, um, I've known so many cultures that I didn't even know, like Tonga, like when Sioni present about uh, his, um, his home country in Brazil and you get to know. So it's not even, just if you're from one part, one specific country, is like your your experience in that place. For example, we had like teachers uh, that believe had experience in another country like Brazil, and even though they're American, they share as their they share as their own experience there, and that's pretty rewarding for me and pretty enriched that I get to know them. I get to know. Through their eye, through their perspective. So, in International Coffee Hour, we host a lot of like 88 countries so far, and we used to host the event on disco as well because it was where most internationals hang, and it was the most accurate, I will say. And yeah, Coffee Hour, we still have it, and we also accommodate to the current situation. And once the pandemic happened, we stopped. We stopped uh, hosting in the disco, and now we host it via Zoom. And it still, is it's pretty good. We had we get a lot of people joining us, like every two weeks. And that's disco. It's pretty good actually to get to know them. Uh, I've known international students that I've never known before through Coffee Hour, and I really like that event a lot. And now we're gonna talk a little bit more of. Um, what we enjoy about the most living in the Reno Tahoe area that comes following why we choose TMC. That's why we choose TMCC, right? It's because it has these yes. so many places to go around. And what can you tell us a little bit of that, Val? Well, like we said in the beginning, um, I love Reno because it, it has so much to offer. It is a relatively small city if you compare it to like a major US city, um, but it has around 500,000 people. And um, it's growing rapidly with companies like Tesla, Panasonic, Apple, and blockchain developing their industry in our city. So it's definitely growing a lot. And we're known for being the biggest little city in the world in the sense that we have so much to offer, but we're also not that big. So I just like that I can drive around the city and then not feel like it's too crowded, but then I also have beautiful hiking trails around and I'm nature all of a sudden. Um, so yeah, yeah, I just, Reno is such a fun little city. Um, it's not yeah, just okay. casinos, yeah. it's not just casinos. It has a lot more to offer. Like Actually, if good. you're a local, you would never go to a casino. It's more of like just people that come and travel and, and go like to casinos, which is cool too. Yeah. 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 What well, I can add a little bit, like uh, the Reno Tahoe area is that yes, Reno is a growing city and if you just if you wanna just focus on study, Reno is such a great place because it's most around nature and you get to enjoy the outdoors and just and just focusing on your studies. Like you don't have like a busy yeah. crowded city when you can just um, you don't get focused, right? Like that's why Reno yeah. is so good. We're gonna talk about that's why we're gonna emphasize a little bit more here in Reno and the places we can go around it. Yeah. So Reno, uh, in the city, there's so much to do. You can walk downtown and you can see all the casinos um, if you're over 21. Uh, that's what we tell our students too. Um, and at night, it is such like a vivid city. Um, during the year, you can do river rafting along the river um, that goes through downtown, which is called um, Charkey River. And it's so much fun in the summer. I like to do river rafting. It's 
so we literally take like a little boat and go down the river and it's so crazy it's so much fun um and then my favorite event is the reno balloon race it's every september and you wake up at 4 a.m and you watch the sunrise with all of these huge balloons going up and it's like a race throughout the day and you, you drive around the city and you'll see all of these balloons in the sky and it's so so beautiful um i was able to enjoy it when i came here in 2019 um unfortunately because of covid it was canceled last year but it is like so enjoy um balloon races and then like there's a lot of hiking trails that you can do around the city and nightlife is really fun as well there's a lot of restaurants around the river walk that you can go to um it's a safe city and it has a lot to offer um, and Ale is a Tahoe expert, so she's going to talk to us about living in Tahoe, which I envy, and I live yeah. vicariously through her. <laughs> well, yeah, so going from Reno, you drive 45 minutes up to 80 Highway West, and then first you're going to get to Truckee, which is part of Tahoe, I will say, but around Tahoe, like, you guys, is such a paradise. It's like a little bubble up, like, around everything that is going on, because it's well, it's mostly a touristic place, but there's so much to enjoy outdoors. Like you get to enjoy both summer and winter. There is so much to do. For example, in the summer, you can take your kayak, uh, your paddleboard, just go to the beaches, hike to Virgin beaches around the East Shore, which is Inkling Village. You get to do all that on the summer and there's a lot of restaurants too, outdoor seating. Uh, you get to also enjoy the Truckee River if you wanna do, um, uh, rafting also in the summer there's so much to do around Tahoe like you get to enjoy it is such a warm weather it feels like a beach weather but you're up in the mountains right it's like a huge ball <laughs> here around Tahoe and you get to also enjoy the scenic view the lake is immense and no matter where you're going to find a little place for you to just spot your place stand and just enjoy the lake in the summer in the winter around it you have uh, a lot of ski resorts all around the lake like you have up to like five to six ski resorts you have one which is called mount rose it's near it's the nearest in reno through the south side and then more like deep in tahoe you get to enjoy heavenly which has huge peaks you get to enjoy Squaw Valley where the Olympics and that is it's where hosted you get also to enjoy North Star which is more in the tracky side of Lake Tahoe and you get to experience snowboarding ski like country countryside skiing as well you can just uh, go outside your house right do a hike and just found this landscape views and it's amazing. If you're like, if you personally enjoy nature and just want to get outside the city and you just don't like crowded and pollution, Lake Tahoe is like the best place to be. Like, I really feel so comfortable here just to be, like I said before, like around nature and appreciate mother nature as well. And makes me, it makes me feel it makes me stay into my roots, I feel like, because I was in Lima before and I've never experienced just open my door and enjoy thousands of pine trees around me, right? I I like <laughs> I was more in like the like concrete jungle and now I feel so good to just breathe pure air and just hear the mount beer sounds. I, I don't know, it's such a peace, peaceful place. And it you, you don't have to spend much money to actually enjoy the outdoors or like a skiing because you can take your skis, hike 10 minutes and just like doom, goes in a slide, right? It's like, it's kind of free. You don't have to spend much and it's pretty much enjoyable. Like, even though snowboard skiing, even swim, I don't know. It's like those priceless things that don't cost you much. And that's what I really like the most about living here around Lake Tahoe and that I'm able to just get away, drive 45 minutes and just get to back to school. <laughs> That's the best experience for yes. me. Yes. And now we're going to talk, uh, well, now that we have all these like fun activities as international students do around the Reno Tahoe area, we're going to talk about job ca uh, campus job opportunities and work experience as international students. As we said before, me and Bal, uh, where, well, I'm currently an international peer mentor and Bal was experience that, but uh, the international peer mentor is 
if you want to work in the international students department, but Team CC offers various uh, opportunities regarding jobs. Uh, for international students, you can work at a library, you can work at, even at a cafeteria in different departments according to your degree or where you want to study. Uh, Team CC offers a, a lot of opportunities. It's just, you can just jump aboard in the, they have like a job board in their website when you can find the different jobs that they have currently and available, obviously. Uh, and now we're gonna talk a little bit more of working at DISCO as international peer mentors. Um, Val, what can you say your experience working at DISCO since you work actually in DISCO <laughs> before? So as Alice said, international, mm -hmm. as Alice said, international peer mentors are, we are students that we help other students. So we know your experience. We know what it's like to be a student. And so I would help my fellow students with time management, organizing their schedules, making sure that they feel well, making sure that they're integrated within the college, helping at events. And what I love the most about being an international peer mentor is that I was able to meet many students from all over the world. I was able to get to know their cultures and help them feel at home at Reno the same way I felt at home. And so it was my number one priority to make sure that they were um, feeling well, that they were doing good in their classes, um, and this is a job that you can have. As Ale said, we have many jobs on campus. International students are allowed to work up to 20 hours a week. And that is because our main goal and our main priority is to study. And so classes demand a lot of time. And so that's why you can only work up to 20 hours. But trust me, that's more than enough time to work. Um, you'll find yourself very busy. Um, but yeah, just we, we really enjoyed working together as international peer mentors. And this is a service that you have that we have for students that is free. You can meet with us, you can schedule um, sessions that we can help you with anything that you're going through. And I think this is a pretty unique service that we offer as well. Moving yeah. on, and we free. have a lot of questions and so we wanna make sure we have time to answer yeah. you guys. Mm -hmm. um, another job that you can have on campus is working for Student Government Association. So this is something I did for a year. I was the vice president and this was a really good opportunity to get to know more about how the system of higher education works in the US. And so I was actually involved in the decision making process of benefits for our students financially and um, just in their college life. So I was able to help my president with um, open educational resources projects, make sure that students had access to free textbooks. Um, and I also funded a scholarship. I started a funding uh, scholarship for a DACA student. And so um, if you wanna get more involved in the academic side of making decisions for students at TMCC, Student Government Association is the right place to be. Um, it's a one year term, you can run twice, I think. Um, and you get to know more about how the college works. I would have meetings with the college president and other uh, like, uh, just boards and groups of people that um, make sure that TMCC is working properly. And that was really cool to be at those meetings and see how things worked as well. Mm -hmm. um, moving on, we're gonna talk about the perks of being an international student at TMCC. So Ale, what is one thing that you enjoyed the most and you thought that was pretty unique for you mm -hmm. as an international yeah, student? I will say that the activities with the iClub as well because you get to know all the international students we all kind of scatter because they all doing their own thing right like studying but once the activities yeah. started we all gathered together and we were able to share experiences and just create a bound in between us i will say that um yeah. well yeah and well the international student activities that you can say i remember this one when we went to the banking patch with the i club and it was super fun. Like, I, for example, my experience coming from a different country, I've never, I've, I've just seen in movies, but I've never been particularly in a pumpkin patch until the iClub took me there with this huge group. And I felt like I was in a movie again. I was like, oh my God, this is such, this is a set, right? <laughs> so I like to share, I, I really like to discover just those activities, well, those things here. So we, uh, the activities as international students, we have like summer, we have Tahoe trips, as I mentioned before, all that you can do in the summer in Tahoe. 
in the fall, we went obviously to the pumpkin patch tree and we have the Halloween and day, day of the dead events hosted at Disco in TMCC. On the winter, we have uh, activities such as ice skating rink and roller skating trips. The roller skating, another movie thing activity that I really enjoyed. And in the spring, we have the film festivals and hikes around Reno, which is super enjoyable as well. Uh, Bao, well, what can you say about the iClub and some activities you had there? So we have an international club. I read in one of the questions that people are asking, like, do you have any clubs? Yes, we have many, many clubs. Uh, one of them is it's open for local and international students and like to come and share our cultures. We do many activities like roller skating. We go to Tahoe, we celebrate our birthdays. Uh, we watch movies together and the club has a president, vice president, it has like a little board and we um, make decisions and we make trips for our students. And it's really cool because you get to know other cultures and countries. So the iClub normally meets once a week or sometimes like every 15 days. But um, when we go back to campus, I know that we will retake um, the, the rhythm that we had and it's such a fun club. But yeah, we have many, many clubs at TMCC from architecture club to entrepreneurial to uh, cooking club, art club. We have the engineering club. There's many, many clubs. Yeah, and actually they're, they're good to participate and being involved in the clubs because that also enhances yeah. your networking that's basically it you have to network yeah. this, this is like do, do your two yeah, years at TCC is basically to that to just like move forward and start expanding your professional network so now we the last right. thing we're going to talk about is that international education week which uh we have we have also tmcc participate uh in in that worldwide event well the educate the purpose of this event is an opportunity to celebrate the benefits of international education and exchange worldwide. Uh, this joint initiative of the US Department of State and the US Department of Education is part of the effort to promote programs that prepare Americans uh, for a global environment and attract future leaders from abroad to study and learn and exchange experience. Well, TMCC participates um, uh, to this international activity, which is hosted all over the world because it's a global event. And the purpose is to bring community together. Uh, as you can see in one of the pictures of the Chinese dancers, those are Reno locals that actually uh, participated in international education, with, which, which is also to create awareness and to embrace different cultures, right? Uh, this is the purpose of this event that TMCC participates in. And well, that's all the perks that you guys have as an international students at TNCC. Uh, we can, as you, as we talked before, you have free resources. Uh, I saw in the questions about if we have something with mental health, and yeah, the counseling center is free, and you get, you have free counseling. That's it. I mean, as an international student, you have all these perks and programs that are free for you as an. So you felt like, you felt good, right? It's like this. I mean, I mean, as an international student in particular, I would say that I feel so spoiled at TMCC with all these resources. <laughs> yes. And yeah, well, thank okay, you so, for the presentation. Yes. And I feel like we can now move on to questions. Quest yes. Um, let me see. So first one, Vale, how did you decide that you wanted to study in the US, especially Nevada? Um, I just, I wanted to, I, even though I love Costa Rica, I just wanted to get out. And I know that the US has so much to offer and especially for engineering, I feel like it's the home of the greatest inventions. And so I just wanted to have better professors in that sense. Um, and so, and Nevada, I just, I fell in love with Tahoe. I had a picture of Tahoe since I was five and I just loved the place. And then 15 years later, I'm looking for colleges and then TMCC shows up and I'm like, that's where Tom is. And I just, I knew that was the place to go. Yeah. So the other yeah. question is level of English, what level of English will I need? Can I take the IELTS beforehand? Did you accept it when they go? Yeah, you have to do the TOEFL or the SATs. Um, and that's something that our admissions team is going to help our students with. 
every like in every step of the way. So like the next question, does the college offer advice in terms of visa application? Yes. So when you decide to apply, we will help you from the moment you decide to like what, co what career you wanna study, what um, classes you have to take, and then also like what requirements we need from you uh, with English, taking a TOEFL or the SAT. And then we um, file all the paperwork for your visa application. So then you can just go to your interview and um, you have all of the requirements that they ask, that the US Embassy asks from the college. We're gonna send everything to you. So that mm -hmm. is the um, I-20, um, the letter of acceptance. Um, so yeah, Virag from our team, she's gonna make sure that um, you're taken care of through your process of admission. Yeah, just to add to that, Val, um, we do accept Duolingo and IELTS. For Duolingo, we accept the score of 90. Oh. And then for IELTS, we accept overall band of six. Um, so that all, we actually accept quite a few different um, English proficiency test scores. So that's all found on our website, which is located at the bottom of the screen here. Um, so if you have other um, English proficiency questions, you can check that out or always get in touch with us. Our email address is also on that screen. Perfect. Thank you, Amanda, for clarifying that. Okay, this other question says, are there scholarships available for international students? And the answer is yes, yes, and yes. I was personally, uh, I personally received three different scholarships last year, which uh, I, and I applied, I applied uh, as an international student, I was able to get them. We, they also have one scholarship, especially for international students. I think you just have to be part of the iClub and joining is free and easy. You just have to send an email and you are practically part of the iClub. Uh, and I will say yes, as once you're an international student, you have to check the Team CC scholarship um, board and then you will just have to follow the steps. It's super easy too. Sometimes it's writing an essay. Sometimes it's like particular, sometimes they provide scholarships for particular uh, degrees, but I will personally say yes and apply to as many as you can because there's a big chance of you forgetting those. The, the, uh, the opportunity and the help is out there. You just have to actually just apply. And I encourage all of you to do that as well. Uh, as an international students. Oh, this other question is, Ale, eres de Perú, verdad? ¿Qué ha sido lo mejor de ser un estudiante internacional? Bueno, personalmente puedo decir de que viajar y estar acá y conocer a gente de todos los, de bueno, de diferentes países es lo que más me ha gustado y la experiencia que más me ha gustado acá en TMCC. Eh, también ser parte de, es como que ser parte de una pequeña comunidad, ¿cierto? Es como que puedes te sientes especial siendo estudiante internacional acá en TMCC y el the fact that puedes viajar all around we, we have for example tienes San Francisco tres cuatro horas de Reno puedes venir a Catajo puedes viajar a Las Vegas simplemente en carro eso es lo que me ha gustado más y eh, also que por ejemplo yo soy parte de eh, soy presidenta de el AIS el que es el American Institute of Architects uh, student club y lo que más me ha gustado es que he tenido la oportunidad de, ser, de como que envolverme en la comunidad de arquitectos acá en Rino que quizá en mi país no he, no he podido porque es como que tan grande pero acá es como que la comunidad es tan pequeña y yo siendo parte de ese club me, me ha dado como que la oportunidad de expandir mi como que mi professional network no me acuerdo como decirlo en español pero y la oportunidad sobre todo la oportunidad, eh, ya encontré como decir un internship based of what I did and that's what I like the most of being an international student here. Y luego, ¿qué deportes, qué deportes puedo practicar allá? Eh, bueno, Team CC tiene fútbol, no tiene voleibol, ¿cierto, Val? Not yet, pero fútbol. tenemos un equipo de fútbol y está el gimnasio donde también hay como para jugar básquetbol, voleibol. Eh, en sala, entonces el deporte que puedes como practicar profesionalmente en la universidad es fútbol, pero de ahí en fuera hay muchísimos, puedes ir a esquiar también a Rino eh, al bajo, mm, snowboard, de, sí, puedes hacer snowboard de sí. hecho, es como que a big thing here, to do snowboard and skiing professionally, like they pay you <laughs> sí, um, sí. did either of you find it difficult to fit in coming from your home country? no I like I said before, 
Team CC is pretty welcoming and they make sure that you are involved into the community and that you feel comfortable starting and living here. Uh, they make sure that you have the right housing. They make sure that you feel comfortable in that housing that you get to get involved with more international students. And that said, I'm, I didn't have any difficulty. What about you, Val? Me neither. I always felt at home from the first day I came mm -hmm. to the US and I actually like didn't want to leave. So it just, I, and it's also very personal. I feel like you make the most of the experience and it's up to the student personally to enjoy it and make sure that you're getting the help that you can. But I don't know, I feel like we, we make, we like Ale said, we pamper our students so much that we just, I feel like they all have such a good experience. Um, but like I said, it's, it's, it's a personal decision as well that you look yeah. out for help and you make friends and everything, so. Test, will I be able to work during my studies there? And yes, for example, I am currently working for the International Service Department and I work up to 16, 16, 12 hours. I don't do the 20 hours because I'm currently taking five classes and you have to be aware that you have to take time for your classes and succeed yes, academically yes. because you have, because being a student is a priority for TMCC and also you have, you have to, know your priorities, right? Mm -hmm. So I do really balance well my studies and working because it's, as I said before, it's only like 12 to 14 hours that I have to give out of two days out of the seven days of a week. And that's what I like the most. And yes, you are able to work, but yes, you are able to work up to 20 hours as an international student here mm -hmm. at TMC says, what is difficult to learn English in a new country? How can I start from home? Well, I will recommend you to take, a, um, well, what I personally did was I took TOEFL and I prepared uh, up to two months to get the exam, which is the TOEFL exam uh, involves speaking, uh, writing, listening and reading, which are, is like the four skills that you have to basically know to come here. but I can, well, if you are not like getting ready for TOEFL yet, the only, the thing that, I mean, you can start from home, like watching movies in English, listening, what I did like before doing that, I was like, I listened to a lot of music in English and I was kind of memorizing the lyrics too and like watching a lot of movies. That's what you can do to kind of like improve your English skills, I will say. And it wasn't difficult that much. What is it cost? Well, well you wanna um, answer this one? ¿Cuál es el costo del día para un estudiante internacional? Um, acabo de responder esta pregunta por escrito. Te voy a, te voy a dar como la respuesta aquí también. Eh, mm -hmm. El costo de las clases los pueden encontrar en nuestro website y el costo de vida también. Entonces, eh, eso lo pueden ver con nuestro equipo de recruiting. Eh, pero las cosas que hay que contemplar, que también vi que preguntaron aquí, es las clases tener un seguro para estudiante que nosotros se los ofrecemos a ustedes, no tienen que buscarlo, ya viene como incluido, nada más se paga el fee del seguro que tienen que tener los estudiantes en caso de que haya un accidente o que quieran ir al doctor, que cualquier cosa, ese seguro lo tienen disponible. Eh, clase seguro, eh, casa, que también, digamos, nosotros les ayudamos a los estudiantes a encontrar casa, ya sea, eh, por ejemplo, en donde yo viví, que era como una casa con varios estudiantes de otros países, eh, o cerca de la universidad. No tenemos dorms en la universidad, pero sí podemos, ayudamos a los estudiantes a buscar housing alrededor de la ciudad. En la ciudad tenemos eh, servicio de buses, que estoy aquí viendo que están preguntando, ¿es necesario tener carro para vivir allá? ¿Qué hago si no tengo carro y vivo lejos del campus? Yo experimenté eso, yo al principio no tenía carro y no hubo problema. Eh, lo, bueno, yo te estoy Answering. Eh, el sistema de buses es muy bueno y te lleva a TMCC. Eh, sí es bueno tener un carro, o sea, para ser honesta, sí es obviamente más, más sencillo tener un carro, pero si no tienes, no, no te va a costar porque igual hay buses, hay Uber, en la ciudad se puede caminar, la universidad uh -huh. está muy cerca de downtown, entonces eh, y, con buses uh, te puedes manejar súper bien. I remember, Ale sí jamás podría no tener un carro porque tiene que manejar 40 minutos. Pero, pero yo, yo recuerdo que TMCC también como que le da a international students como un que un, yeah, un shuttle. So you have a credit to take the bus. Yeah. And the bus leaves you in the front door of TMCC. Sí. 
Sí, entonces el bus sale gratis también, eso Ajá. me olvidó decir. Sí, el bus como que es gratis para estudiantes en caso que no tengas carro. Bueno, Rino es como que es, todo está como que conde, condensado, entonces en 15 minutos estás en todos lados, ¿cierto? Entonces sí. no necesitas como sí. que carro si vives en downtown, sí, bueno, y, y that's it. Uh -huh. sí. El bus ayuda bastante. <ríe> ok. What kind of academic programs would I be able to study there? Um, many. We have over 80 associates degrees. We have some bachelor's degrees even, um, but I would say you can study anything from engineering, computer science, architecture, business, uh, social work, nursing. We have our dental hygiene program, which is one of the best in Reno. Uh, Amanda, do you know of any? <laughs> So they, have of, they have a lot of uh, technical technical yeah. uh, technical programs. If you want to be a yeah. welder, a uh, constructor, you just want to get your residential uh, residential uh, license. They have those two those two year programs uh, gives you to that, and you can just work right away. You don't have to earn your yes. bachelor's. Yeah, that's pretty handy actually. A lot of people in my uh, field, which is architecture, do that. And they really like HIMCC because emphasizing technical studies as well. They have yeah. a lab. Okay. Like they said, uh, like Alia and Val both said, we have um, quite a few associate programs altogether. We have over a hundred and um, I think it's 50 certificate and degree programs, including associate certificates and bachelor's degrees. Um, some of the most popular are ones that they've listed, computer science, business, engineering, robotics and automation, um, We also have hospitality and tourism management, which is a very popular degree program as well. Um, health sciences, so community health sciences, nursing, dental hygiene, all of those. Uh, we actually have a bachelor's degree in dental hygiene, if that's something that you're interested in. So yeah, quite a few things to choose from. We kind of, we pretty much say you can, uh, we have something for everyone at TMCC. So yes. Yes. So next question, what advice do you have for me talking to my parents and telling them I want to study abroad? Well, um, I, can, <laughs> so I can say, for example, what I said to my parents was like, mom, dad, I want to get off my comfort zone and I want to study sustainable design, which is something uh, my country didn't have as a study, right? As a, as a specialized degree thing. So I think that's that's important to tell your parents that you really want to experience a study abroad because yeah. the education here it's super up to date. Like yeah. I think in some countries you get just the basic uh, education and it's the same. It doesn't evolve that much. And here it's super up to date and the education that they give you is like high. I mean, yeah. it's so up. I mean, how modern, I will say that. For example, sustainable design in my country is like, what? What is that? They don't like focus on that much. But here, there's so much things to know about that. And it kind of like, so it's like pretty no Likewise, yeah. I will say. What I have one advice. Mm -hmm. I have a piece of advice. And that would be to show your parents that you have responsibility and that you're ready for studying abroad. And maybe you don't know what it entails because you're not there yet but just showing them that you know what it takes what are the finances involved that you've researched make sure that you research um and not just have this idea in your head like for me i researched so much about community colleges universities transfer agreements what was it like to um take care of it financially and to be honest like i had looked for a scholarship my family didn't have enough money to send me to study abroad like at all like i was just gonna My other plan was to stay in Costa Rica and work and pay for my own university back home. But there was more and that I could achieve more. And so getting covered for my college degree and I applied to a scholarship, I worked really hard. I studied a lot. I made sure I had good grades and I was able to get Um, a scholarship. So my the, the reason I'm saying this is because is to just inspire you and let you know that there are no limitations. Like there's so many ways to study abroad, and you just need to show your parents that you're responsible, that you are un, that you are understanding of what it's going to take, and that you are willing to make that sacrifice. Because you're also going to be away from your family. It's going to be a new country, a new experience, and you have to um, be aware of that as well. Mm -hmm. Then why should I study? Another question. Why should I study in Truckee Meadows instead of any other college? Well, first, 
that can also leave um, overlap with the other question. But what I said to my parents was like, hey, Truckee Meadows Community College is an affordable college that, mm -hmm. that has great transfer agreements. And then I can finish my yeah. degree in the university and you don't have to waste that much money in general studies, right? That's yeah. what I, I told my parents. And they were like, and I did my research too when I was like looking around the Tahoe area and it was UNR or Truckee Meadows. And, it was a no-brainer to pay, uh, to choose Trochimeros because of their specialized studies. That's what I like the most and their program as well. That's that's something that you have to think. Uh, and Trochimeros offers such a great transfer agreements and they give you a lot of options to transfer wherever you want. Um, mm -hmm. As an international student, there are no barriers for you studying at Trochimeros, I will say. And also, also all the resources that they have for you. What will you add to that, Val? Um, I would say that our team is going to be available to help you throughout the transferring process. So our advisor is going to make sure that you research what university you're going to transfer to, make sure that our credits are transferable, which is really important. And um, yeah, I would just say talk to your team, talk to your advisors, um, research where you want to transfer to, make sure that they have the program of study that you want to study um what else yeah something I think that i can add actually to the yeah. uh, transfer question so tmcc we do um have transfer agreements with over 30 um top tier universities across the U united states However, if there's a school that you want to go to in particular that isn't on our list, we have uh, specialized transfer advisors that help you through that process. So um, we also make sure that what you're studying at TMCC will indeed transfer um, into the program of your choice at the institution of your choice. Amazing. Okay, now we have the last. Yeah, we have the last question, which is, can I transfer to university after my studies in Truckee Meadows? How does it work? What I am currently in the process of transfer after I finish um my my last class on summer, and what I first did, I was like, I right away contact my um, academic advisor, which is Sione, and he gave me a sheet of all the courses that I have to follow in order to transfer, and that was a pretty easy process for me. Uh, you have to get in contact with your team as well, with the international team. They will, they're will gonna make sure you have all the, all, you made all the requirements in order to transfer. And I am personally transferring to an architect school in San Diego and Truckee Meadows has uh, transfer agreements with them. And I make sure of that, that you're taking all, that all your credits are uh, transferable to the university that you want to do, that you want to transfer, obviously. Um, and yeah, what, what can you add to that? I mean, that's, that was my process and it was pretty, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. um, like Amanda said, we have a team to help students transfer, but yeah, we're, I'm glad we're able to answer all the questions. <laughs> Yes, me too. Well, thank you very much, um, Bali and Ali, for uh, this brilliant presentation. I'm sure you gave us all really useful information to all the future international students. And thank you also to Amanda for um, helping us answering some of those questions and for joining us today. So uh, if any of our attendees have any other questions, we encourage them to send us uh, all your questions via email. So on the screen, you have all the contact details um, and you can contact Amanda or any other Tricky Meadows uh, representative directly. So I think that will be the end of our webinar. Thank you very much uh, once again, girls, for uh, this presentation. We invite all the people registered in this webinar and all the people who are watching us on our Facebook Live to um, visit the Tricky Meadows Community College website and for sure to visit the Viva Mundo website as well. So if you want to find more information about studying abroad. Mm, once again, thank you very much you all for thank this you. presentation and thank you to our attendees for listening. We hope you yes. have a great day and we thank hope you to so see much. you all soon. Yep, thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye, Bye. everyone.